How exciting is it that we got the caliber of Apollo Malcolmson coming to the table for the Hunger Games? We were we were kind of going back and forth this week. We had bets at my kitchen table that Cena was going to most definitely be cast by Friday, <laughs> and we lost. But we're okay with it because we're tremendous fans of Paul Malcolmson here. We we were even discussing earlier how much she actually looks like Jennifer and like Willow that she kind of looks like she could play their mom. And, you know, just from the bone structure and the coloring to the photos that they, they chose to share with us with the casting news. But in terms of being able to play somebody that really comes to the table and, you know, and has to, you know, deal with the fact that, that her daughters would have to fight to the death, if anybody had to play that kind of steely, that kind of worn through and still give us all the colors in the rainbow because it's so easy to play that as a one-note character and have that kind of amazing emotional palette to go and reveal in terms of the, of acting and craft. I'm so excited. I'm I'm very, very happy about Paula Malcolmson. I don't know if anybody else uh, joining us tonight to talk about it has, has seen a good deal of her work whether you saw her on Deadwood or on Sons of Anarchy or even on Caprica, that you thought that, you know, that it was it was just really such a good choice. Yeah, Caprica, so, uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, that's actually from the Battlestar Galactica franchise, right, which I think, Savannah, I know you're a huge BSG fan. Oh, yeah, I'm actually fairly ashamed. I'm I'm obsessed. With Battlestar Galactica, I even have action figures, but I still have not seen um, a single episode of Caprica, which I know is is really really terrible. So now I, I have even even more of an incentive to watch it, because I I really I know she's been in a ton of things, but I don't think that I've seen her um, in anything. But I agree that that just based on her her physical appearance, um, I I think she will be an incredible Mrs. Everdeen. I mean, she does really look like uh, a cross between Willow Shields and Jennifer Lawrence, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I, not a not, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I was going to say, I I remember her because my, my um, husband uh, is a big Battlestar Galactica fan, and he used to watch Caprica, and I remember her from a couple of the episodes that he was watching, but um, I – I mean, I like you, Savannah. I haven't seen her in a lot, so I don't know. But I mean, I, I mean, agree with the cross between the two. I mean, the moment I saw her picture, I'm like, I mean, I, just on looks alone, she just fits between the two mm-hmm. of them. So totally. And by the way, when when you guys speak, could you say your name and then maybe um, the site that you're representing, if you are representing a site? I just had someone ask us who was talking, so. Um, Let's do that, just so everyone knows. Oh, this is Savannah, by the way. <laughs> I'm I say I'm, I'm, I'm Adam. Producer. I'm representing men, men all throughout the world, who are the <laughs> the rare fans of young adult literature. For some reason, yeah. I'm the yeah. only one. We got the only three. one. <laughs> and that was Lee from the Hob who was talking um, in the beginning. Thanks, Savannah. <laughs> Someone said that they well, agreed with guys. everything that you were saying, so I figured I would let them know who it was. No, that was, that was, that was great insight. Something I'm wondering, you know, we talk about them. who is who is Katniss's father? Are we going to see him at all in the movie, or is he completely maybe flashbacks, or do you think that's just a complete nothing? I think that would be, well, a, I don't know. I don't think so. There weren't really really flashbacks. Don't. Per se in the book, and there weren't any in the version of the script that leaked, so I would guess that we're probably, if not in The Hunger Games, we might see some in Catching Fire when she's back in District 12, but she's not really in 12 very much in The Hunger Games itself, so I would be kind of surprised if we saw flashbacks that included him. But I saw some people on YouTube suggesting Gerard Butler. I mean, I thought that was... So a little bit far fetched to think he might play a role that doesn't well, appear. So, no, uh, cameo. <laughs> well, uh, I, I mean, a lot of the fan casting is sort of far fetched, but yeah, that's a little out of the realm of possibility. 